Welcome to another video tutorial. Second part of enzymes acts as a drug targets. So already we have discussed this one, the first uh, basic aspects of drug targets and what is the drug molecule, how it will produce their therapeutic action when it binding with the target site. So those may be the targets are these are the targets, receptors and enzymes, and and also yeah. molecules and ion channels okay so this one is also completed and the second one this is just a basic fundamental aspect enzyme catalysis reaction how it will be binding with the active site then yeah now coming to any drug molecules are chemical agent or chemical substance binds with the active site so these are the different kind of inhibition mechanisms okay the drug molecule is binding with the enzyme so now enzyme is acts as a target okay. then the drug molecule is binding with the active site either it may be reversibly binded or irreversibly binded based on that mechanism the first one we will discuss about that reversible inhibitors so here you observe in the picture the diagram this one is represented as i and this one was represented by yes only so here this is i and this one is yes one is the substrate molecules and another one is inhibitor okay this one is the enzyme so up to this portion only is acts as an active site okay then this inhibitor binder with the active site the mechanism is intermolecular bonds involved for the binding mechanism okay so that's why there is no product formation because the enzyme activity may stop down the enzyme activity was inhibited by the binding with inhibitor so here it is nothing but the drug molecule you take drug molecule or small molecule only okay then there is no free availability site active site already here the competitive inhibition occurs in between the substrate ion sorry inhibitor ion substrate so inhibitor readily go and bind with the active site so immediately the active site was occupied by this inhibitor so substrate is there is no chance there is no availability to bind with this active site so substrate is free now the chemical reaction the biochemical reaction does not takes place does not proceed only because there is no availability of active site so here the binding mode the binding mechanism is intermolecular binding that is nothing but your drug molecule is binded with the amino acid residue should be present at active site like this because the enzymes are made up of proteins only okay then yeah this one the inhibition undergo no reaction inhibition depends on the strength of inhibitor because the competition between inhibitor and substrate okay now that depends upon concentration of inhibitor and concentration of substrate for example if the concentration of inhibitor is more then immediately it binds faster than substrate clear the substrate is now black from the active site so for example increasing the substrate concentration so now initially the drug concentration is high and substrate concentration is low after some time inhibitor concentration is decreases gradually okay then the concentration of substrate is very high after some time again now the inhibitor concentration is less it intermolecular bonds may be disconnected and the substrate again go and bind with enzyme that depends upon the concentration gradient concentration only concentrations of inhibitor and concentrations of substrate clear yeah this is first mode of uh, inhibition reversible inhibition these are the examples some of the examples protease inhibitors sulfonamides kinase inhibitors some antidepressants, diuretics, and these are example for reversible inhibitors. 
okay now coming to irreversible inhibitors the difference between these two mechanisms one is reversible and another one is irreversible so in reversible we observe only yeah this one intermolecular bonds only intermolecular bonds only but in second case irreversible inhibition so the binding nature is covalently bond formation between the amino acid residues the drug molecule and the enzyme that is the difference between reversible and irreversible okay inhibitor binds irreversibly to the active site so here don't get confused this one is the complete enzyme and this is the active site of enzyme and here this is a alcohol alcoholic group is present just uh, observe all amino acid structures some are alcoholic amino acids are there okay that is nothing but the serine residue serine residue it contains alcohol as a functional group okay so here this is your x sum is the x it's nothing but the halogenic group is present here it is an a drug molecule and the active site so when the covalent bond or the covalent reaction the covalent bond be formed between this oxygen atom and the carbon atom here so because this x is more electronegative atom it will take up the electrons and from this le less electronegative atom okay then immediately this less negative electronegative atom getting positive charge or deficiency so here this serine residue containing oxygen atom or alcoholic group acts as a nucleophile and binds with this deficient species of atom so now bond formed between the enzyme and drug molecule like this this is covalent bond clear so now there is no chance to attack the substrate after increasing the concentration of substrate also it's not a concentration difference because the covalently bond formed between the drug molecule and enzyme also clear so increasing substrate concentration also does not reverse the inhibition process okay so these kind of inhibitors to be similar yeah one kind of criteria is there for reversible or irreversible whatever it may be the structural similarity should be there compulsory must need structural similarity between enzyme and drug molecule otherwise it cannot bind with active site similarity of structural or structural similarity between the drug molecule and enzyme activity active site of the enzyme okay this is irreversible inhibition these are the examples some examples i have collected one is the cephalosporins and penicillins that are antibacterial agents and some nerve gases and proton pump inhibitors disulfuram and orlistat these are the some examples for irreversibly nothing but the covalently binded are the bond formed between covalent bond between drug and active site of an enzyme right so what is the exact mechanism here this is the serine molecule is there so this one is enzyme the enzyme uh, we are taking that example is uh, pancreatic lipase enzyme okay now this is the serine residue amino acid residue is a serine it is a comes under the classification of amino acid is alpha and omega right here the oxygen atom having some lone pair of electrons two, uh, two lone pair of electrons so here this is what early start the example we are taking early start is an example so lactone ring is present here this is your lactone ring okay and here doubly bond o so c doubly bond o structure you can observe here one is the carbon atom and another one is oxygen atom so this oxygen atom will take up the electrons it always try to pull the electrons from less carbon atom here less electronegative carbon atom so immediately this kind of mechanism the immediate next coming reaction or coming intermediate like this formation over here so here this carbon atom is positive charge and this oxygen atom getting electrons so here now it is the dense atom and this one is the deficient atom so these lone pair of electron this oxygen atom may go and bind with this deficient carbon species okay then 
like this the bond formation in between serine containing alcohol and drug molecule clear and next one so finally this completely changes the enzyme activity it alters the enzyme activity when it is binded covalently with drug molecule the enzyme activity may be altered simply the stereospecific or conformational changes may be occurs conformational changes after binding okay yeah this is about a early start it's an anti obesity drug molecule that inhibits the pancreatic lipase it is an example for irreversible inhibition okay right next one some allosteric inhibitors are also there this is another third mechanism it is also important because the enzyme is also having not only active site other sites also present on enzyme so those kind of sites also called as allosteric sites or allosteric binding sites now the difference only is simple only one thing compared with the reversible and irreversible that is the drug molecule or inhibitor should be attached or should be interfered with other than active site called allosteric binding site that is the only difference here also structural and shape structural similarity is important with the drug molecule and allosteric binding site okay so the mechanism via induced fit model the mechanism via induced fit model so after interfere or after interaction with this allosteric inhibitor with allosteric binding site this enzyme conformational changes completely okay so now for example here substrate is present but the drug molecule should be present with or interfered with binding site then the substrate cannot bind because it unrecognizable it not allowed to access because here the similarity or conformational changes occurs then immediately shape of the pocket of active site also changes then the substrate is does not fit it do not fit into active site because the structural and shape also the pocket shape also changed that's nothing but the conformational changes geometrical conformational changes occurs in amino acid residues clear this is allosteric inhibition so like this this one is a uh, binds reversibly to the allosteric site intermolecular bonds so here also but intermolecular forces only then induced fit alters the shape of the enzyme you observe this one only then active site is distorted distorted and not recognized by the substrate molecule yeah inhibitor is not similar in structure to the substrate not yeah this one is right on because inhibitor is not similar to the substrate because there is nothing there is no competition between inhibitor and substrate got it the thing is drug molecule only should bind with allosteric site does not compete with substrate molecule okay i'll show you some examples for this allosteric inhibition this one mercaptopurine is an example okay mercaptopurine is an example for allosteric inhibition right thank you i'll continue uh, the remaining in next video tutorial thank you